Welcome to another edition of Joomla Tips and Secrets. In this tutorial, we're going to continue on with Joomla Overrides and Beyond. Today, we're going to take a look at Virtue Mart and how to go ahead and override it and add Bootstrap to Virtue Mart. Virtue Mart already has uh, responsiveness built into it, but they're using their own width statements and it isn't perfect. By adding the bootstrap classes, you can have a much better layout for it, and it's a lot better at the responsiveness. So let's go ahead and jump in. Here is a demo site for Joomla Overrides and Beyond. It's using the Protostar template that comes with Joomla 3. And I've already installed VirtuMart. Let's take a look at it. And here we have the VirtuMart category. You can see that there's something kind of weird here because they have their separator here and things aren't really coming out all the way to the edge. And here we have some pretty hammered columns. It doesn't look that great. And when we pull the browser window in, we're going to see that things bump under like this because it's three column and if it were two column or four column uh, they bump together but now we've got a hanger down here and as we pull in even more we're going to see that everything here is pushed over to the left and that's because of a width 60 percent they have on these so this is basically what you're going to see in mobile view and things aren't going full width which doesn't look that great. So let's go out here to full view again and let's go ahead and override this. As I've shown you in previous videos, we can just go up here to our extensions and we can go to the template manager and we can go to the templates, the protostar details and files. We click on this and now we can create overrides. Since we already have VirtuMart installed as a component, it's right here, com VirtuMart. And here's all the files. The problem being is that VirtuMart does not allow you to override the files that we need to do. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and create the category. Now that that's created the VirtuMart category, I just did that so we now have our folder here inside of the editor. In the HTML, you'll see we have com VirtuMart, and now we have our category. So unfortunately, we're going to have to do this the old way. So we're going to use a FTP program, and we're going to connect to our site. We connected, we see our root folder here in Joomla, and we can go over to Components, Com Virtumart, and right here, Sub Layouts. That's what we want. And what we want to edit is the product's PHP. So we're going to go ahead and download the Sub Layouts folder. And once I've downloaded it, I'm going to go ahead and clean all these files out, except for the product's PHP. And now we're going to take the sub layouts folder, and we're going to go here to templates, to protostar, the HTML folder, and we're going to go ahead and dump that folder right inside the com virtue mart. So now that we've dumped it in there, we're going to see that we've got our category and we have our sub layouts and we have our products PHP. Now let's go back to our back end of Joomla and let's go ahead and do this inside of Joomla. We can refresh the page now and we will see that we have our HTML, our com virtue mart and our sub layouts and our products PHP. So let's go ahead and load the products PHP. And now here's the sub layout products. And you see here we have our calculating the products per width. They've got the cell width, the width, products per row, columns, and whatnot. But we're just going to move right down here to where we've got show products. So here's the PHP. So we've got our HTML and our PHP. So we can take this VM column out because we're not using the VM column. Next, we're going to change this VM column to a span. And now we've got products per row. 
So we're going to take the products per row and we're going to divide it by 12 because the bootstrap grid is based on the 12 column layout. So now we've got span 12 divided by the products per row and we can go ahead and save. Before I save, I forgot to tell you that if you haven't watched the previous videos, before you go ahead and edit here in the back end of Joomla, you're going to want to probably go co copy all and throw that into an editor or save it somewhere because once you hit save up here you're committing that so if you make a mistake you might mess up and there is no undo inside of the override editor now I'm gonna save and we'll go back to the front end here and here was our problem and we'll go ahead and refresh it now everything's bootstrap so we've got nice spacing between each of these and let's go ahead and pull the side in and of course you're gonna have that happen because you've got the hanger there you can do a little bit of extra CSS here to make these go full width and to enhance this by adding some margin bottom but when you pull it in fully here now everything goes full width like it should do this can use some margin bottom and you can put that right in you don't have to do it in um, breakpoint or you could but as you see here it's styled much better and fully bootstrapped and I hope you've enjoyed this new edition of Joomla tips and secrets overrides and beyond and we're going to come out with some new videos and show you some more of what you can do with overrides and some more tips and secrets. We'll see you in the next video.